All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to infinitely farm fish fully AFK, fully automated using the fishing bot. And the requirements are a captain ship, which you can get for 100,000 right now. And you also are going to need a storage crate. And I would say get a bait crate as well because you're gonna want a lot of bait and wood. So those are your requirements. I already got the storage crate. I'm going to go ahead and buy a wood crate now. And now I'm going to buy a bait crate. Please don't scare the chickens. Put that right there. Grab the wood crate. Alright. Make sure you get a storage crate as well. Here's what we're going to do. Those aren't going to go right over there. Alright. What am I doing? Alright. Transfer the wood into, I have to do it this way. Transfer the wood into the storage crate. Why was I doing it that way? I don't know. Transfer the bait into the storage crate. Hold on. Hold on. Because we are, I don't know where I'm at. Ancient Spire? Let me see where I'm at. I'm at Daggertooth, and Daggertooth is in the wilds. So, I don't know a whole lot about fishing, but I'm pretty sure you want to use the corresponding bait to go with the corresponding fish within the corresponding region in which you are in. So in my case, I would want to use wild splashes, I want to use earthworms. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the bait back in there real quick. And I'm going to grab earthworms. And now I'm going to take it. And it should take the earthworms first. Let's see. Aha, see it did. All right. So after we got our wood and our bait inside of our storage crate, we can put these off to the side somewhere. And next we're going to want to find our fishing location and put our storage crate near it. We don't really, our ship doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens to our ship at this point. So we know the stove is right here, so this will come in handy. So we'll just go ahead and put our storage crate right here. And we will set our fishing location. What? Can we do it in here? We'll set our fishing. Shit. We'll just bring the whole crate down here. We'll see if it'll not float. Yeah, it floats. We don't want it to float. Okay. We'll leave the crate there. We'll set the fishing spot. Alright, let's get into it. So we're going to go into our fishing bot after we have our crate near us, kind of. Make sure that's on. Next, we're going to set fishing location. When you set the location, it'll leave a sphere right here, a ball. That's your fishing location. Next, stand in your fishing location and record your storage path. Click it and walk all the way up to your storage crate. Even if we have extended reach, walk all the way up to it. Click stop recording. Walk back to your fishing spot. Click record cooking path. Now we're gonna run over to the stove the fireplace thing all the way up to it click stop now we're gonna run all the way back to the fishing spot and now we're gonna click you guessed it record cell path and now we're gonna run a run oh I fucked it up you don't want to do that don't swim now we're gonna wanna now we're gonna wanna run to the sovereigns which are over here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, record the cell path and run to the sovereigns. Do not jump. Do not fall off a ledge. Do not go in the water to make you swim. Walk all the way up to the bitch. Click stop recording. And you are literally done. The only other requirement is make sure you don't have any food in your inventory because you need room for the fish. So, let's see what happens when I click 
activate fishing bot. And I'll just not touch anything. So the bot just grabbed wood and bait from the storage crate. The wood is to start the campfire. The bait is to fish. The bot will always do this. It will keep up on it. It knows what it's doing. So as long as you have enough supplies within the thing, then like it will run fully automated. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see what bait it grabbed, so because it's catching a splash tail, which I don't know about that. So I wanna see what bait it was I wanna see what bait was on there. What bait did it grab? It grabbed worms. Alright, so it did it right. So I'm in the right place for like what I'm doing, right? Wild splashes and plenty fence. Alright, well whatever. It was it was it's fine I guess. But yeah, do all that shit, activate the bot. And it'll do everything for you. I'll just let one cycle. Eh, I'm not gonna do that. It'll take forever. One cycle was, is gonna take like 10 minutes. But you get the idea. That's how you get the bot started. After it catches five fish, it's gonna go run over to the campfire, start a fire, and cook the fish. After it cooks all five fish, it's gonna run to the sovereigns and sell the fish. Then it's gonna run back to the storage crate and get bait. But every time it completes like an activity like that, it's always gonna run back to the fishing spot first before it goes to the next one. But that's how you do it. Good luck and go farm them fish.